now to question number five it has three parts a b and c it appears that each part is for one marks now answer part a hope you have read this question energy of electron in the nf allowed orbit e n equals to minus 13.6 upon n square electron volt it implies that e1 equals to minus 13.6 by 1 square equals to minus 13.6 electron volt e2 equals to minus 13.6 divided by 2 square and equals to minus 3.4 electron volt e3 equals to minus 13.6 by 3 square equals to minus 1.51 electron volt similarly e infinity that should be equals to minus 13.6 upon infinity square and this is equals to zero electron volt minimum energy will be radiated corresponding to the transition from n is equals to 2 to n is equals to 1 minimum energy will be released or radiated corresponding to n2 is equals to 2 to n1 is equals to 1 thus delta e min that will be equals to e2 minus e1 equals to minus 3.4 minus minus 13.6 equals to plus 10.2 electron volt maximum energy will be radiated corresponding to the transition from n is equals to infinity to n is equals to 1 thus delta e max equals to e infinity minus e1 and this is equals to 0 minus minus 13.6 and this is equals to plus 13.6 electron volt now delta e min to delta E max equals to 10.2 electron volt upon 13.6 electron volt. These two numbers are multiple of 3.4, 3.43za, 3.4za, and this is equals to 0 0.75. Answer part B. According to de Broglie explanation of force quantization condition of an orbiting electron, two pi R n is equals to n times h by 2 pi for second allowed orbit 2 pi r2 is equals to 2 multiplied by h by 2 pi 
particle wave in n is equals to 2 should look like this. This happens to be n is equals to 2, second allowed orbit. This is the nucleus. For third allowed orbit, two pi r three equals to three multiplied by h by two pi, and the wave picture should look like this. Here is the third allowed orbit. Now answer part C. De Broglie wavelength of electron in the second allowed orbit should be given by Now according to the Bohr's angular momentum postulate from relation to m v2 is equals to h by pi r2 put it in one lambda is equals to h upon h by pi r2 this is equals to pi r2 4 pi r1 as r2 is equals to 4 r1 note rn is equals to n square times r1 so this will be the required value of the wavelength in the second allowed orbit of the hydrogen atom 